Hi, Zach Pater here at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. Wanted to give you a quick video walk around today of this very good looking 2013 Yamaha 242 Limited. Very sharp looking boat. Start right here on the outside. It's being packaged with a tandem axle trailer with swing tongue, color matched uh, with the blue. The boat does have the solid blue hull with the blue sides along with the blue deck stripe. Stainless steel rub rail, stainless steel pull out cleats, Stainless steel bow rails work our way down the side. You'll see that good looking Monterey badging. Very simple graphics on this boat, uh, but very, very sharp looking. Fuel fill, twin engine boat. This does have the twin 180 horsepower Yamahas, like all the 242s would have. Thrust vectors in the back. Work our way to the swim platform. You have that big, comfortable, contoured seating. Gotta love the speakers back here. It's got cup holders, stereo controls. Nice grab handle right in the middle to help with that center mounted stainless steel ladder. From there, let's take a look inside the boat. As we step on board, you can see the ski tow eye there. And when you enter, you really get this beautiful entertainment area. You have this big U-shape wraparound seating, the ability for the table. Two big captain's chairs that can be spun around. So you really have a huge entertainment area. Take a closer look at the seats. You can really see they're in very good shape. They do have flip up bolsters as well. Simply flip them up and you've got a lot easier, a lot easier to sit up a little bit higher in comfort. Work our way around. You can see the seats generally speaking are in very nice shape. Big backrest on these, which is very nice. Work our way over to this passenger seat. It also has a flip up bolster, but again, generally speaking, all in very good looking shape. Right in front of the passenger, you've got a couple of cup holders, spot to set some stuff. You do have a grab handle along with another cup holder and small glove box to the side. Work our way over to the dash and it is a very good looking, clean, crisp, sharp looking dash. Tilt steering, your stereo controls, cruise assist, uh, your water pump for the water system. You've got your auxiliary plug-in for your stereo, all your standard gauges, your lights, horn, all that. Controls are down underneath. Nice and convenient, easy to get to, and I like the big padding there that they put on the side. Just a very well finished dash in this 242. As we work our way forward here, you're going to see to the uh, uh, port side of the boat, there's a nice compartment here that is large enough where you could put a porta potty in there, and or if you just want a nice big storage area in the boat, it works very well. As we move forward in the boat, this is where we can really get uh, Yamaha's attention to detail when it comes to usable space. The front is very wide and it's very wide, very far forward. You have nice steps here to be able to get on and off the front of the boat if you were to go to the beach. And underneath the front, there is a ladder and the area for the uh, anchor to be stored. And focusing again on condition, you can kind of see the uh, seats are in very nice shape. I do like how they contour those backrests and they're very nice and very deep. Cup holders throughout and it does have the bow filler cushions as well. Simply slide in the two big cushions and you've got this large sun island right up on the bow of the boat. A really neat feature in the Yamaha is up in the bow. If you remove the forward filler cushion, it sets perfectly in between the walkthrough and it really gives you this unique triple wide forward facing seating. So continuing to look at some of the unique features on the Yamaha, it's actually got these really neat flip up armrests in the front of the boat. Kind of a cool little feature the way they slide right under the seats. Yamaha is certainly good at creating storage in their boats. You'll see there's large storage compartments under the front seats. The side storage compartment under the console is large enough to fit both of those cushions along with I've got all the fenders in there right now. And you'll notice that door doubles as a bow block off door to help keep the uh, wind down while you're cruising on those cool days. You'll notice the in-floor locker. It's large enough to fit that full custom or actually the full shipping cover that they have for the boat. So it's very nice, very big, held up with a strut, all gasket sealed. It's a good looking storage compartment on any boat. 
And then as we work our way to the back on the starboard side, you actually have a place where the cooler can go, and that does come with the boat, or you can take it out and have a nice large storage area. So that there is a quick video walk around. Before we exit the boat, I did want to at least show you the engines. They are the twin Yamaha 180 horsepower high output motors. I would say generally speaking for a 2013, they're actually very, very clean um, and uh, just a great running boat. So I think it should, uh, it's a good balance of power and efficiency and Yamaha is just known for their reliability. So that there's a real quick video walk around of this Yamaha 242 Limited. Again, my name is Zach Pater here at River Valley Marine, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. I'd be glad to answer any questions you have on the boat or set up a time to view. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.